Yes, uh, it's an oral question to the field marshal, uh, retired, what, what uh, to the can I Minister the of Defence, uh, Pinehas. Yeah? No, it's about the alleged uh, Chinese military presence in Namibia. That is the question. Yes, yes. A, a short one. Now, um, the, the Minister of Defense, Pinehas, we are informed that there are in excess of approximately 3,500 Chinese military personnel and imported artillery in Swakop, Walfres, and Handy Spade last month. Now, the question whether the Minister will confirm or deny is that. How long are the Chinese military personnel going to be based in Namibia? When are they leaving? Are they here to do military training for Namibia Defense Force? Secondly, is this part of what was alleged to be a precursor to one of the largest military bases of China outside Namibia? Are they here to do groundwork? Three, there are allegations that there is a joint military cooperation, joint defense force agreement between Namibia and China. Has it ever been brought to the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defense and Security? Those are the Thank short you. ones. To Thank the... you. Let me ask the Honorable Minister to respond. Honorable Minister, would you care to respond to those questions? First of all, I would uh, wish to request my honorable counterpart, but it's this, we are in the second session now, and I would prefer that you please uh, familiarize yourself with my title. You cannot be calling me fit marshal, the other day you called me something else. So please, yes. Okay. Uh, secondly, anything that needs to be brought to Parliament in relation to defense, would anything that should have been brought to Parliament in, re, in relation to defense would have been brought here already. So that which, which was not brought yet means that there's nothing that requires to be brought here. And secondly, yeah, yesterday, please, please order, order. yesterday I was standing straight and you could not hear me. The reason why I'm bending is because of the mic. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So secondly. All the other to the second question. Please, please, please. Let's, let's uh, allow the room member to finish. Please, please, please. Yeah. Okay. Please, Honorable Minister, please continue. Please, please. Exactly. So, finally, the rest of the information, the questions that you ask is confidential. Thank you. Let's leave it at that. Honorable Nicholas Smith. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order, order, please. Let's, let's finish. Thank you, Mr. Honorable Member. Please, let's continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me invite you that I will tell you. Thank you. Thank you, please. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, don't hide it. Honorable Nicholas Smith, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I have. Yes, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I give notice 
that on Thursday, the 17th of September, 2020. Please, please, let's calm down. Let's, no, no, let's, remember, please. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable, <coughs> Honorable Speaker, when we have come, I'll, I'll talk. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, uh, the Honorable Minister of Defense is yes. dealing with a very sensitive ministry yes. that has to safeguard our security from external factors and internal factors. Now, it is established culture and practice in this parliament yes. that no question can be posted to that ministry without being met with a similar answer. Now, no person in this country supersedes the state. Not even the president that appointed that very minister. Now, what I want to propose is the following, Honorable Speaker, that standing rules interrogate the accountability of the Ministry of Defense, yes. its companies, yes. to this August House. Yes. And that such, yes. that, that such, that such, perhaps, Standing Rules Committee also involve the Committee on Foreign Affairs to interrogate that question. Because, because the Ministry of Defense yes. is a good thing for us. But it can also be a dangerous thing for us. Okay. So if we continue having a Ministry of Defense that is unaccountable to anyone but the President, we will have a problem in the country. Yes. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, speaker, yes. is the proposal taken? Yes. yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, yes. I want to leave it at that because we must continue logically. Honorable Nicholas Smith, I've taken <laughs> note of your comment. Honorable Nicholas Smith, please. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I give notice that on Thursday, 17 September 2020, I shall ask the Right Honourable Prime Minister... Please, let's hear the Honourable Member, please. I shall ask the Right Honourable Prime Minister, Sara Hugungelwa Amatila, the following. Some weeks ago, the Honourable Minister of Defence made a speech to Namibian soldiers, in which he accused various sections of the Namibian population of, amongst other sins, refusing to cooperate with economic transformation and also trying to bring about regime change yes. by means other than yes. through the ballot box. This has caused considerable outrage throughout civil society and has led to counter accusations of hate speech against certain groups. The Honourable Minister also seems to believe that he is entitled to operate without the oversight of this Parliament. Judging by statements made by him in this August House regarding the auditing of his ministry, as well as the company known as August 26, that uh, dubious one, I thus ask, 
One, whether the Right Honourable Prime Minister will inform this August House and the Namibian people whether the Honourable Minister of Defence speech is a reflection of this government's policy. If not, why has the government not moved to discipline the Honourable Minister and repudiate these statements? Two, can the right Honourable Prime Minister inform this August House which clause in the Namibian Constitution exempts the Honourable Minister of Defence from allowing the auditing of his ministry's accounts? I so submit. On the same day, I will ask. Must, must, must. Please continue. <clears throat> I will give notice on Thursday, the 17th of September. I shall ask the Minister of Public Enterprise, Honorable Leon Euster, the following. On 27 February 2020, I asked the then Minister of Finance a number of questions regarding the finance, financial situation of Air Namibia. I received very comprehensive answers from him at that time. In the meantime, very little has changed except that Air Namibia's wings have been clipped by the measures put in place by government to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. Now I ask,